From the uh, Thousand Islands uh, Playhouse in Gananoque, I'm talking with the uh, managing artistic director, Brett Christopher. And we're going to be talking about some of the plays that will be happening very, very soon. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It's been a while. Where I know have you it has. been? Like, I mean, come on. You've we got get to underground. We spent about six that. months in a little capsule under the river preparing for the season. Because you have so much that is happening and it's all good stuff. I love it. It's going to be I a wild love summer. It. Thank you. It really, really is. Okay, what's the first What's the first play? The first play. Yes. It opens on May 31st. Yes. Uh, and it is Liars at a Funeral, which is actually written by a local woman. She's from from uh, Kingston. Yes. Local. Um, yeah, that is local. Eastern Ontario. Yeah, yeah. Eastern Ontario. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and it is uh, set in a funeral home. Get out Which is a first for the Playhouse, because what's funnier than, funnier than a funeral home? Um, but it's very funny. It's a woman uh, who... Not to give too much away. No, don't. Fakes her own funeral, or fakes her own death in order to gather her family so that she can kind of excise all of the challenges that they're facing. And there's a lot of mistaken identity and there's a lot of doors slamming and there's a lot of very, very funny uh, revelations. So it's a go. comedy. It is a, yes, it's a very funny comedy. Is there a casket there? There is a casket right at center stage and people crawl in and out of that thing like <laughs> it's nothing. Okay. All right. Well, this all right. This sounds super good. It really. All right. Well, the set is designed by Sula Page, who is known across the country, mm -hmm. and she's had a huge career. And we're so, so. This is the first time she's ever designed a set for us, and it is very spectacular. <laughs> it is hilarious. Is what the theater is this going? It's to be? It's in the Springer Theater this, in our okay. waterfront theater. Oh, yeah. okay. All righty. Yeah. And what is happening? There's something else that's happening in June too. Yeah, we have our big fundraiser actually, oh. a Moonlit Night, which is on June twentieth. Okay. And there are a few tickets left, a few. So if you go online, you can see Obtain, the sort of yeah. scant seats. And it is, uh, it's like a really big, a three-part fundraiser, which is, there's a big cocktail party featuring about 25 regional restaurants. So all the different restaurants come in and we have nice. beverage sponsors like Thousand Islands Brewery yeah. and a bunch of Brockville restaurants are there as well. Um, and so there's that big element to the party and then they come into the theater and we put on a exclusive show. So we've brought a bunch of, sort of Broadway performers in and they'll perform songs from Playhouse hits and also oh. other musicals. Okay. Temporary musicals and some sneak peeks from Mamma Mia coming up. Um, and then afterwards, we have a big after party on the dock because what the heck? Who doesn't like to party on the dock? Well, yeah, because you have to talk about a moonlit night and different things exactly. and food and whatever else and meet up with people you haven't seen for. A exactly. Bit. It so, really is. And yeah. a lot of people say this is sort of kickoff to summer. Yeah. June 20th, yeah, 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 it really yeah. feels like the beginning of the summertime at the cottage. What follows? Uh, well, the following uh, following that event is yes. Mamma Mia, of course. I, you, Mamma you, Mia. Have, you have waited so long to say Mamma Mia. I know. I know. It <laughs> is so fun. And so I've, I've waited to produce this since I've been there. I've been there for eight years, and I've always had this thing just <laughs> waiting to go. And we have assembled a cast that features people who are coming directly from New York on Broadway. Oh. There are people from Stratford that, that have all come in to do this show, because you know, we build it all in Gananoque, yes. um, directed by Stephanie Graham, and it is gonna be just a blast, absolute blast. And of course, we're on the river, right? So it's so perfect, the, the environment is, is so ideal is, for is. a play that's set in the Greek islands. So what uh, what time are the performances throughout the week? Generally, they are, so there's 2 p.m. matinees oh, or 7.30 p.m. Okay, performances. Okay, so that's the choice. Mm -hmm. And we do eight shows a week, uh -huh. so it's all over the place. And yes. in fact, Liars at a Funeral, so in June we have a lot more matinees than right. evening performances. Okay. And once we get into the sort of crux of summer, like right in July, August, uh -huh. we do more evening performances, just because the, you know, the sun's out longer. Okay, so if I was to come to Mamma Mia, am I going to hear Dancing Queen? Oh, you better believe it. Okay. In fact, the play, no, not to give it all away, yes. but you know, for these viewers, we'll give them a little bit. Yes. The, the musical, for those few, six people that haven't seen this musical before, uh, it actually ends with what's called the Mega Mix, oh, where the cast comes it. out I in just it. the most yes. sparkly <laughs> disco outfits, and they perform the hits. I like they it. just the whole thing evolves, devolves into uh, into just a big dance party, which is the best. It and, is so and fun. Yeah, your audience will be. They'll oh, be up yeah. on their feet. Oh, they really, yeah. they will. You better believe it. They and in be. fact, so for that one, if people are interested in that one, uh -huh. there are already a bunch of performances that are sold out. So, so don't wait. Of all the plays that we're going to talk about, yeah. that's the one to go online yeah. 
or call and get tickets. Okay, and, and is that going to be in the Springer as well? Or it is. is. That, it's it in is. the Springer okay. Theater as well. Yep. All righty. And uh, what's what's the next one after this? Well, Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a bit of a theme which mm -hmm. I was not intentional, but it's called okay. Murder for Two. Oh, um, okay. It's, uh, I know there's a kind of life and death <laughs> vibe. That's what we're doing this summer. Life and death. <laughs> Um, Murder for Two, also very funny. It's a play I actually saw in Anaganish, Nova Scotia last summer. Just when I was touring around, I ended up in this little tiny theater uh -huh. and watched this hilariously funny. Uh, it's two actors. They're both prolific piano players. And they one of them plays all of the suspects of a murder of a famous novelist. Yes. And the other one plays the detective. <laughs> Um, and, and they're both brilliant pianists. So it's they're playing piano and sort of underscoring the, as they tell the story to the audience. Um, and the audience is involved, only as much as you want to be. But I have to say, they didn't know who I was. They didn't know that I was in theater. And they did end up pulling me up on stage. Get out. And I had to play the dead body at one point. So there are little funny things like that. There's a shooting banana. There's like a bunch of gags. And, you know, and again, with this sort of... Prolific but, piano, but it so is who done it. It's a who done it. A comedy, and it's it, again it's very <laughs> funny, and again selling very very quickly. So if people are interested in that one, they should probably go get their tickets. Yes, don't wait. Yeah, don't wait. Yeah. Right, uh, and and the, that will be in the fire hall. It is. It's in okay. our small theater. You bet. Okay, and it runs uh, August the first. So really August. It, time yeah, frame. it runs the month of August. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, since we're talking about August, mm -hmm. would you consider coming back to talk more about September, October, etc.? And are, is the sequel going to be better than the original? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You, yes, of course we I will. will uh, uh, well, that way it gives people an opportunity to realize what they can go to now yeah, yeah. and sign up for it, get their tickets, and then we'll tell them a little bit more later on. Yeah, we're going all the way to October 27th yeah. this year. So we're going from May to October, and uh, there'll be lots of stuff even in the fall. Well, that's it. So yeah. why, why, you know, why tell them Don't now? Don't give it all away. No. They won't remember anyway. There you go. And I mean, Mamma Mia, come on. You're going you're gonna to sell out every day. Oh, well. Just from your music. mouth yes. to the people out there. No, it will. It will. So thank no, you. Seriously, if you want to see Mamma Mia in Gananoque, get your tickets now because it's one of those things that, oh, yeah, I loved going to the theater to see it. Oh, so I know. It, it's one. Anything else you want to tell us about um, uh, what's happening at the Playhouse? Well, we've made a couple updates. So just when people arrive, they yes. should check out. We've done a little bit of um, renewal of the lobby. Okay. We've uh, expanded and beautified it yes. to really bring the river more into the space. That sounds, sounds like we're bringing water in, but it does, to open it all way. up. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've actually, well, I'm just going to give it away here, but we've actually added a bunch of uh, restrooms on the upper level so that if people found uh, in the past we've received yeah. information yes. that it's yeah. hard especially if there's any sort of mobility issues right. to get down to the lower level to use the facilities so we've actually added a whole bunch of what restrooms on the upper level I think that's a nice I, I, yes because it's very important and well some uh, of our patrons some of our patrons it. have been coming for 35 years and they really yeah. want to keep coming so who am I to withhold them from that there you go. Yeah. There you go. Thank you for sitting down with me. Thank you. We'll see you in August, okay? You, you betcha. Don't go away.